University of Cambridge International Examinations IGCSE Mathematics Extended Course. Uh, the diagram shows the straight line which passes through the points 0, 1 and 3, 13. And we're asked to find the equation of that straight line. On the right there are some useful bits of information that you should already know. The equation of a straight line in general terms is y equals mx plus c. We're going to be using that to help us get to the answer. To get also to the answer, we need to know the gradient of a straight line, which is the m part of y equals mx plus c. We find that by the second value of y minus the first value of y, all divided by the second value of x minus the first value of x. So we'll start by trying to find the gradient of the straight line m. So we can start by saying m is equal to second value of y minus first value of y. So 13 minus 1, all divided by second value of x minus first value of x, 3 minus 0, giving 12 divided by 3. Therefore, m, the gradient, is equal to 12 by 3, 4. We can now write y equals mx plus c with the value of m for included. So therefore we can now say y is equal to 4x plus some value c, which we'll be finding next. How to get the value of c is simply sub in the values of one of the coordinate pairs and we'll choose 0 and 1. So we're going to be using the coordinate pair 0, 1 and we're going to sub those values into this equation. So y equals 1 and that is equal to 4 lots of x so 4 multiplied by x which is 0 plus c. Well, 4 times 0 is 0, so therefore 1 is equal to c. And that gives us the answer to the problem. We simply put the value of c into this equation here, and we have y equals 4x plus c equals 1. Now that is the answer to the problem. However, before you actually write the answer in your examination to a problem like this, best thing to do is just check with the other pair of coordinates that it's true for those as well. So in the second pair, 3 and 13, y is equal to 13 and x is equal to 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, and y equals 13. So we can be happy that that is the correct answer.